Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Rusty Rasmus has officially named his side to face Argentina. Massive news is that Ivan Etzebeth will become the most capped Springbok of all time when he starts in the number four jersey on Saturday. And also, um, in the current sort of conversation, maybe even bigger news, my Ivan will also start in the number 10 jersey next to Jaden Hendrickson who will get his first start of the year after making a couple of appearances off the bench. Uh, it is a full-strength side. We have gone um, all guns blazing, really, against Argentina to ensure that we do um, not leave anything out there and leave anything but chance, go out and get the Rugby Championship trophy. And uh, in what's going to be a story day, hopefully come away with our first full Rugby Championship ever and our first rugby championship since 2019. Before we look at the team, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. This is the side that has been picked by Rusty Rasmus. And it's pretty much bang on from what I actually predicted yesterday. The only change that I didn't uh, have in starting 15 was uh, my Ebok and Andre Pollard. I had those two. Uh, it's switched out. But let's go through it, shall we? Uh, so in the front row, it is... Oxen Chair, Bongi Minambi, and Franz Malherber. So experience on experience on experience. And uh, obviously also Oxen Chair currently arguably the most informed um, prop in the world I'd be right now. So yeah, it's a phenomenal loose trio. And they're going to be backed up. I'm going to play front row. And they're going to be backed up by Ibn Etzbeth, who will make his 128th appearance. And uh, the new record is the most kept cast screen mark, overtaking Victor Matfield's record of 127 and he's just going to build this record um, for, for a couple of years to come, I reckon. He's next to Ruan Nokia, who will continue to get an opportunity in the number five jersey. His last uh, before the end of year tour. Then, if you look at the loose chair, it is Sia Khaleesi, back captain, Pierre Step the toy, and Jasper Visa. No surprises there. Um, it is the two big players in, in Sia Khaleesi and uh, uh, Pierre Step the toy, both um, boasting more than 80 caps to their name. But... Uh, Good to see Jaden Henderson getting a start. Uh, I've been wanting him to start the last couple of games. I personally would have started against the All Blacks as well as against Argentina. I think he's a better start than he is a finisher. And uh, I think he's terrific um, international scrum off, to be honest. I, th I think he reads the game incredibly well. I think that he is game awareness. His, his, his tactical kicking, for example, his tactical uh, sort of approach to a game is so suited to test rugby. And particularly Bok Rugby, I think he's a tremendous player, to be honest. And then next to Mighty Bok, this is such a good selection. I really do like this. You know, I've been saying that we you know, we shouldn't be bending him. We've got to sort of back and give an opportunity, for example. And uh, what better way to respond to all the criticism and the likes than to give him a start and to say, well, we trust you. And, and maybe this is also a bit of a, this is your last chance type of situation. You know, we'll give you a start. Go out and prove to us that you can still contribute to this team, that you're still good enough to play for this team. Um, the back three will be Kurt Lawrence, the Chesney Colby, and Apple Lefassi continues to get backed. No Villeroux. Have we seen him for the last time in South Africa? Only time will tell. Damon Delendi next to JC Creel in that uh, record center partnership. Which again, also, every single time they uh, play together, they, they continue to sort of break the record for the most capped center pairing for South Africa uh, ever. If we look at the bench, it is then Malcolm Marks, Harris Denikamp, and Vincent Koch. It is a 5 3 split, though. So only Al Wicklow and Quaker Smith, no lock. On the bench, um, so Pierce Death Toy will deputize for Eben and Ruan Nokia. You then got Kubus Rana, Andre Pollard, and the Kanyo Am as your uh, options over there. So, I mean, in terms of the squad, World Cup winners everywhere. The only players not a World Cup winner in the squad, Ruan Nokia, Apple Defassi in the starting lineup, and then off the bench, the only players not a World Cup winner is um, uh, Gerst Denekamp and Albert Lowe. So, yeah, it's an incredible amount of experience across the side. If you look at it, the total test caps in the starting lineup is 778. Um, the average caps per player in the back line, 37. And the forward, 64, whilst on the bench, the average number of caps is 43. So not taking any chances here whatsoever. It'll be the fifth time uh, so we must play a test at in the Momo Stadium. And the second time they play against Argentina, they uh, have not lost at the Mombeo Stadium. So, yeah, the record speaks for itself, really. And I don't expect that uh, anything to change this weekend. But it's a good sign. I really like the fact that they're back Monty Lee Bok. You know, whether this is the last chance or not, give him his due. You know, to bin an entire player for a moment that's over within 60 seconds and basically say that's not good enough for the rest of his career, I think is pretty short-sighted. I think we've had time to absorb it. Yes, it was a bad miss, but he does offer us so much. And uh, he will not get an opportunity this weekend. 
uh, to have a go. Also, interestingly enough, because Jaden Hendrickson is starting, he offers you a goal kicking option. Uh, so I wonder if we might see him yet go ahead and kick for goal during this match. Let me know what you think of the team down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Um, thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve, and I'll chat to you soon.